Hello, today we'll be finding out what's in this little box from your UAV, but just before we get into that, a quick reminder, please like or dislike this video if you didn't like it, comment down below, don't forget to subscribe and well, click on that bell icon, why not, what's it going to do? What's this? This is the your UAV Blacklight B6 Pro. It is essentially a parallel charging board. Now, one weird thing about parallel charging me is I don't do it. I did do it when I just had, uh, I had a basic one port charger and so I tried a parallel charging board and that went fine until the point where something went pop and something set on fire which wasn't very good so then I bought a better although full parallel charging board and um, I'm very careful about this my balance was right um, within like you know 0.1 of each everything was plugged in correctly and flames actually came out the battery balance uh, leads when I, when I plugged it in one day uh, and since that time I've never done it again. I put my money into buying originally a four port charger like this uh, Turner G1 although mainly I'm doing stuff on uh, two port chargers like this. So uh, this wasn't something I kind of asked Banggood to send me it just turned up but I thought I'll talk about it anyway so let's <laughs> let's check it out. Will it convert me? Will it make things safer? Well that's the idea so I'll have to try and see. Anyway, in the box you basically have it and some bubble wrap. This is the unit itself and it's very nicely made. There was an original um, Blacklight B6 which just looked like a circuit board with stuff on. This has got this lovely sort of clear uh, Perspex type covering. You've got six ports, XT60s and XT30s, uh, balance ports. Uh, you've got individual fuses these blue things here which are replaceable we should be able to pull them out which come out like that and if you blow one you can replace it and the idea this is set up around safety so we've got a fuse for each port and that should blow if there's a short you should also get you can probably just see these little red LEDs that should go on and there's even a little alarm here so that should start sounding and although you can't see it along these lines of balance ports there are little blue LEDs and if the balance connector is plugged in the wrong way around uh, that should light up as well and stop you doing things. Also in the box you have this big 6S style connector and an XT60 which go in the ends here like so and will connect up to your main charger. So yeah let's plug it in and charge it and let's see if it sets on fire like my ones do. Hopefully not but let's try and see. Okay, welcome to Close Up, where I've got the balance board connected to my charger. As I said, it's a 6X connection. It doesn't mean that you need to have a 6S battery. It will do two to 6S. It's just making sure it covers every single one of those balance leads. And of course, we've got no LEDs on and the siren's not going off. Um, because if anything does light up on this board, that's a problem. Basically, you want it nothing lit up and it all... Um, very quiet and that means it's good. If anything else happens it, it's bad. So a little bit about parallel charging. When you're going to parallel charge and I did follow these rules <laughs> even though I managed to have two fires although I didn't have nice fuses and stuff. When you're parallel charging you want to make sure that each of your cells is within 0.1 volts of everything else. So when you're putting things in balanced charge that's usually pretty good because everything's at about 3.8 volts. I use 3.8, some people use 3.85. So what I've done with all the batteries I'm going to do and you would really want to is just double check them and I can just see them here on my charger, these are all 3.8 something and if I go check another one it's 3.8 something. So anywhere within like 3.8 to 3.9 is fine and if you've got batteries that you had put in uh, storage and they've dropped off a bit or something then it could be a sign that you know the cells are going. Now the reason they have to be so close is when you plug the XT60s in all the voltage kind of rushes in and tries to equalize itself and if you've got something where you've got a very high voltage and a very low voltage then you've got an awful lot of amps coming into one thing so you want to keep them basically around the same so there's not this sudden rush of current and that's another reason why you'd be plugging in the XT60s first or, or the XT30s in this case and then the balance leads after because if there is a sudden rush then these are rated to stand quite high currents these little balance leads are not quite simply so um let's go ahead and start plugging these things in so as i said i'm gonna plug the xt60s in first and there's no particular numbering order or anything on these it's this is just seen as a big battery 
as far as that goes. So let's get all these going. And of course I'm hoping not to have any lights on and I'm not going to try and induce any lights because I just want some safe charging, not anything explodey. So those are in good and you can see it just thinks it's a 15.21 volts which is pretty much storage charge. So now I'm going to put in the balance leads. These have got little notches that line up with these which is quite good because although it's got a sort of alarm to say hey put this in backwards it's pretty nice that it it would be really hard to put it in backwards. You'd have to have sort of missing notches on your balance lead. So let me just get all these plugged. And there is a little sign on it saying, you can just see it there. There's a little minus sign and a plus sign so you know which way round things go. Okay, so I've now connected six 1.3 amp 4S batteries there. And one of the advantages of parallel charging is because you can treat these as a, a one big battery, although it's still 4S, we can basically add all these up. So it's like 1.3, 2.6, 3.9, and then 3.9 multiplied by two is 7.8. So when we come in to actually charge, charging at 1C, we can do that at 7.8 amps, quite safely. Well, as safely as it can be. And uh, we can get on with that. And this is why people like doing parallel charging. It's not the fact that you're doing all the batteries at one time. It's the fact that you're doing all the batteries at one time in the same time, depending on your charger, as it would take to do one battery. So obviously, whenever you're charging batteries, whether you're doing them in parallel or doing them individually, you always want to be in the same room with them. You always want to keep your eye on things just to make sure nothing goes weird. Um, we can see that, you know, normal stuff's going on here. We're doing a, a great big 7.8 amps you can see the amount of milliamp hours we're putting in going up pretty quickly so i'd expect these to be done in you know around 40 minutes to an hourish depending how long it does to do that balance i actually found with parallel charging when it wasn't setting itself on fire that um, the balance was pretty good because everything kind of equalizes uh, between all the batteries that's not too bad but i'll stop filming now i'll come back when it's done and i'll tell you exactly how long it's been running I think there's a clock there's a clock running here anyway so we'll know and uh, yeah we'll take a look and see what's going on okay i came back because my charge beeped and you can see that it's just been 36 minutes with nine seconds and it thinks we're all done just at just over 4.2 there's 0 0.004 out there but all within the range so i'm going to stop these and i'm just going to double check each of the balance connectors just to see that's what they've come up with. So first thing I'll do is just stop this and then we'll unplug stuff. Wait. That one. 4.196199, yep. And having tested all the batteries and I don't know if this has been in focus all the time, they're all much of a nutshell. There's, there's like in some cases 0.00, .00 eight out is about the most I've had but they're all pretty much um, nicely in balance certainly within limits and they they've done a pretty good job nothing's gone wrong nothing's set on fire so that's good and I can kind of see why people are into it because if you've just got one charger and you want to charge up six batteries as long as your charge can put out that much you can do six batteries in the same time as um, one battery which is you know fantastic and I certainly feel more safer now I've got these um, individual fuses that can blow and these things that tell me if my balance lead is wrong and a little alarm that goes off. But the other thing, of course, you can do is put things back in a storage charge. I'm still locked down. I can't go out and fly. So the next thing I'm going to do now I've just literally charged them up is uh, put them back to storage charge again. So let's get these plugged in again. Now, I was just because I'm leaning over the camera here, I was just plugging in and look what happened. It's telling me there's little lights lit up that I haven't got it plugged in right, which I know because I should have been there. So that was, uh, I didn't want to test it out on purpose, but yeah, I'd managed to, just when I was plugging in, plugged in wrong. I mean, I was going to check it afterwards, but yeah, that's a nice little warning. So when it comes to storage charge, unless you've got a specifically massive uh, charger that can do amazing things, you are probably going to be stuck 
on um, a lower setting. Now you see this says the current setting 7.8 amps. I don't think I can discharge it that at all. I think I can discharge it about 0.6 amps, which is going to take a long time to do six batteries. But hey, they're all getting discharged. Um, it's just a little bit more convenient than sitting here and doing one after the other. So I'm going to let that one run. I think that's going to take an awful long time, but we've got the timer running. We'll see what happens and uh, we'll come back when that's done. So in about two and a half hours, we've got down to about 3.9 volts, but uh, I need to go have some food. So I'm going to stop this, unplug everything and then come back and do the rest later. So this is just so I can add up the time. Okay, so an extra one hour 14 and it's finally done. As I said, it kind of depends on your charger. This was doing sort of a minus 0.6 of an amp down to minus 0.3 as it got closer. But I'll have another quick look at the batteries and see if they're all coming out nicely balanced and around the same, of course. 3.82, there's a 3.819. Last battery, about the same. This has probably got the, the biggest variance. We've got a 3.816 versus a 3.822. So we're generally about 0 0.02 volts out which is not bad that's well within the the bounds of acceptability for me so yep those batteries all back to storage wasn't particularly quick to do but slightly more convenient than the keep plug-in unplugging that sort of thing well check it out i totally charged up a bunch of batteries and put them back to storage and nothing exploded and we didn't have any fire has it made me a convert mm, well if i was going to do it and i had to be quite impressed with the fact I could do six batteries in 30 something minutes that was pretty cool um, if I was going to do it I definitely have something which has got individual fuses and all these alerts to stuff so basically is if a fuse blows the light will light up and the uh, beeper will sound uh, and that sort of tells you it's gone wrong the fact that it sort of blows up in the first place at least stops fire happening and stuff that's the theory anyway and I was able to test out the stuff with the balance lead just I like, plugged it in wrong and, and lights appeared so that's not a bad thing so yeah if you are into your parallel charging um, at least to make sure you've got something which does have fuses so that blows instead of the power going through to that battery and then that battery setting on fire and balance leads just melting and stuff like that because when that happens in your room and you know even when you're watching I can't tell you how scary that is and you're like yeah big panic and trying to get to things unplug them and, and get rid of the, the fire and stuff it's it's not very pleasant so anything that makes that safer is better um, it's still not as safe as charging individually I think that's that's worth saying so uh, I don't know if I'm going to use this uh, and just carry on individually or if if I'm in a rush job maybe, maybe I will but just take precautions be careful be careful whenever you're charging batteries, make sure you stay with them just in case there's anything adrift. And if you are gonna use a parallel charger, make sure all those batteries you use are healthy. Don't use one where you think, oh, this cell's a bit funny, sometimes it, it doesn't charge up because that's, it, your charger doesn't know. It doesn't know the individual contents of each battery, it does them as a whole. So if you're using dodgy ones in there, that could create issues. So just make sure everything's healthy, make sure you keep watching it, and it will be good. Anyway, this has been the Your UAV Backlight B6 Pro, which is an odd name for a parallel charging board. Um, and it was kindly supplied by Banggood, even though I didn't ask for it. Thanks so much. Uh, and of course, there's be links down below for where you can check it out if you're into parallel charging and don't want fires in your house. Hope that's been helpful. I'll catch you next one. Bye for now. Well, you've made it to the end of the video, so thanks once again for watching. If you like what you saw, then please consider subscribing. And if you really like what you saw, then be sure to check out the link to my blog for a variety of ways in which you can help support this channel.